this bread that is a reminder of who you are and your love that would stop at nothing, your body being broken on our behalf to redeem us, to save us from our sins. We pray that you will bless this bread as we receive it and as we live with you and with one another and with all your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Jesus took the, the bread and he broke it and blessed it, gave it to them and said, This is my body broken for you. As often as you eat it, do this in remembrance of me. The scriptures teach us that in the same manner Jesus took the wine and poured it into the cup and blessed the cup. Will you pray with me as we ask God to bless this cup? Oh God, we offer this cup to you that you would bless this cup as we are about to receive it and we pray that you will help us to be aware of what this cup means and your blood shed on our behalf to redeem us, to save us from our sins and all that separates us from you. We do pray that you would bless the cup and bless each of us as we receive it and as we seek to live with you and with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Jesus took the wine and poured it into the cup and said, This cup is the sign of God's new covenant with all people, the forgiveness of sins. This is my blood shed for you. Drink it in remembrance of me. The scriptures tell us that they sang a hymn and departed. And we are still unable to, to join hands and sing Blessed Be the Tie That Binds, but we are getting closer to being able to do that. So I will invite you to stand for our benediction as we depart from one another now until we meet again. We go in the words of, those, of that hymn that we do sing as we embrace one another. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. Go now in peace. Amen.